Hey guys, welcome back to another AI video. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do face swap really quickly and easily using only a single image. This is going to be a quick tutorial and everything I'm going to show you in this video is going to be totally for free. So let's hop onto our computer screen. So I'm going to be sharing this link in the description. So just go to this link and we're going to follow these simple steps to install this uh, software. First up, uh, let's open up our terminal. So I'm going to open up my terminal uh, and we're going to clone this repository. So we're going to copy this, uh, whatever folder we want our software to be in, we're going to go to that folder and we're going to type on our terminal git clone and we're going to paste the link and we're going to click enter and it is going to copy the entire repo here in a folder on our device. Okay, so now the repo has been copied. The next step is I want you to go back on the GitHub page and we're going to have to download these models. To download them, you simply need to click on these uh, models. It's going to start the download. Likewise, you're going to download this. Okay, so once you have downloaded both of these files and both of these files are very small in size, uh, I want you to head to the directory where you have uh, pulled the repo. Okay, so this is a repo where we pulled uh, the project and here I want you to go to models and I want you to paste the two models that you've just downloaded. Okay, now moving on to the next step, we want to install the requirements. So we're going to go back to our terminal and we're going to see the directory and we're going to move into this directory. Let's move here. Let's uh, do ls and uh, here we have this requirements text so we want to install all the requirements using this so what i want you to do is i want you to write here pip3 install minus our requirements dot text now this is going to install all the requirements needed for this project so click on enter and it's going to start installing everything Okay, so now the requirements have been installed. There's one very small last thing that you want to do before uh, proceeding. If you are doing this on Mac, there's something you need to install uh, called FFmpeg. So if you are doing this on Mac, you need to install this. To install this, you can simply write brew install FFmpeg. Uh, now, doing this will install FFmpeg on your computer. Now, if you don't have brew on your computer, you can simply go to... Uh, brew.shell and just copy this command and you're going to want to paste this in your terminal and this will install brew on your system and then using brew you can install ffmpeg as you can see over here it has already been installed uh, on my device so i don't need to re reinstall it now we have run.py file over here and running this will run this project on our computer so we're simply gonna write python 3 run.py or whatever version of python you're using uh, just click on enter and it will start the project okay so now the software has been started on our device uh, for the first time it's gonna take a while after that it will uh, open up pretty much right away so now we need to select a face and you only need a single image for this. You can download the image from the internet. So I'm going to select a face. Okay, so I have selected a face of Mark Zuckerberg over here. And now I can just click on live and it will start uh, presenting my face uh, using the computer's camera and it will overlay Mark Zuckerberg's face onto my face. So let's click on live. And as you can see, it has opened up a window over here. And let me take off my glasses. And uh, you can see that I've turned into Mark Zuckerberg. Now, this is using my computer's camera. It's a different camera. Uh, and it's a bit slow because this software requires a lot of compute to run on your computer. So if you have really good specs, this video will be in real time. But for my computer, uh, it's uh, really low on frames. Now you can uh, use any image like you can see I've used image of Elon Musk, The Rock and uh, Mark Zuckerberg. And uh, if the frames are really low on your machine, uh, I'm going to show you a way to fix that right now. Let's close this and you can record a video of yourself and then you can uh, apply whatever face mask you want onto that video so that way the frames are going to be really good so for, what you need to do for that is you need to of course select a face and then you're going to select a target in this case the target is going to be a video that we need to change 
Okay, so now I have selected a face and I have selected a target video to be modified. And then you can toggle around and uh, toggle and play around with the settings. You can uh, keep, uh, choose to keep frames per second, keep frames, use face enhancer. Uh, you, you can play around with these options and see what they do. And then you're simply gonna click on start and it will start modifying that video. Okay, these are side by side results uh, of the modified video. As you can see, this is pretty accurate for what it's using, which is only a single picture. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be there to answer them. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care.